This is where I get scared. Yeah. This is the hardest bit. Um, so I can sketch out where a ch chin. I've basically, however far down the nail you want the face to go, that's where you're going to put the chin. And then you've got to think about how big everything is. So if you look on my phone, I've got the image. It's never going to look like, it's never going to look the same. But this ruler is actually going to show me how big this area is. So if we put this to the bottom of the chin, and it reaches the bottom of the nose, doesn't it? Bottom of the chin, bottom of the nose. And if I go to the bottom of the nose, to the eyebrows, top of the eyebrows, to the bottom of the nose. So I know from the eyebrows to the chin, the face is split in two. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I know if I go, say to about, if I want to do her eyebrows starting at this height, I know that I can split this in two and that would be the bottom of her nose. But I definitely think that that's not quite big enough. So we're going to buff that off and we're going to go to about here, I think. And then halfway, so halfway will be her nose. So I've just done two little markings for the sides of her nose. And then we've got this space between her chin and the bottom of her nose to do her lips. There is more space from the chin to the bottom of her lip than there is from her nose to the top of her lip. There's probably, if I get this ruler, spin this ruler around, this little mark here to the top is two mil, but then from the bottom of her chin, sorry, from the bottom of her lip to her chin is actually one, two, three, four, five, six mil. So you've got two mil and six mil. That's a massive, di massive difference, isn't it, that? So I now know that this space here is probably about there, and it's going to be three times more than this space here. So we're going to go, so it's about, about there, yeah? So these markings are all going to help me map out the face. We can do these gorgeous lips. These are the kind of lips I want. <laughs> And I think this image has been done on AI. It's either AI or it's a digital drawing. And last time I checked, I'm not a computer. Oh, them some nice lips. Them some nice lips. And she's got two little teeth here that show. So the nose, she's got a cute button nose. I wouldn't mind that nose as well. If there's one going spare. It's not with your nose. Oh no, I'd like a little button nose. My mum's got such a lovely little button nose. I've got a little nose. Mm, you're lucky, my mum's got a little nose. My dad's got a bigger nose. I've got my dad's nose. So it's like a little ski jump. Ski jump nose, cute nose. Cute nose. You always want what you haven't got though, don't Always. You? This chin. She's got like a quite a square chiseled jawline. No, you know. I wish I had one of them. And I wish I had one of them. I wish I had a jawline. I do. Full stop. Yeah, you know I mean, be nice, yeah. Huh? yeah. Right, so we're going to mark out 
the brows don't need to be like perfect you just, you're not actually drawing them you're just marking where they're going to go the width of the brow bone and as it comes down to the nose and then for the eyes i'm just going to get this and just measure how long the nose is in comparison to the to the nose to the top of the brow then i can work out from the brow to the bottom of the eye so in between here if we go it's roughly halfway just pull that to a And halfway the bottom of the eye it's halfway between the brow and the nose so here yeah bottom of the eye This corner comes in line with the outer corner of the nose. So you've got your basic layout there. So we're going to start with putting down the colour. We're going to use a portrait technique where you start with the lighter colour and work to the darker colours. So whenever you do portraits, that's the kind of layering you need to do. So we're going to use Beige Dave. No, I've got white. I've got out out. I don't want I want Beige Dave. And we're going to do this thin, quite thin. And what I'm going to do is use the Cassidy brush. So I'm going to use the one stroke end of the Cassidy brush. So this is a one stroke brush, but you can actually use it for gel as well. The reason I'm using this is because we can kind of lay it flat like this. And we're going to cover the face just with a thin coat of Beige Dave so we can still see the pencil markings You want to make sure that it's smooth. And if you leave that for about 30 seconds, it will smooth out even more so because it'll start to self level. Pop that in. Then we're going to do one more coat, same again, thin. We still want to see those markings. I can clean my brush in some clean up solution and always clean it up if you need to. Again, let that self level. I've got some white out. 
which is our white. And I'm just going to do the sun, the eye, the white of the eyes. So I'm using the detail brush on the Cassidy brush. Right, so we're going back to Beige Dave, and with that, I'm going to do the shape of the nose. Going to flash cure that. So even though we're using the same colour, because we're using it on, on top of the colour that we've already done, you're getting the true colour of it now because the other layers were really thin and this is more of the normal sort of thickness. I'm going to go under the eye. down to the cheeks because this part is a slightly lighter colour and it continues to the top of the lip And I'm just going to use the other, the other end of the brush to just soften that edge. Let's define the chin. I love this brush so much because I can just keep going and I haven't got to keep changing my brush. Which brush is it? It's the Cassidy brush. Oh, because it's both sides. Yeah. You see it? Love.
Now we can add some color above the brows. Now the majority of this will have those sort of leaves or like, they like leaves, petals kind of shapes. So we don't need to do, you know, like the top of a hair or anything like that. So you can just blend that out. Just going to add a little bit of highlight under where the brow will be. 